Alrighty guys, we're here at the bow and arrow shop today doing a video that all of us have kind of talked about doing for quite some time and we're finally getting around to doing it and uh, that's shooting bows like this 320 edge that's about $470 all the way up to this is going to be our most expensive bow we shoot today, the PSE Drive NXT that I believe is about $850. That's $850, so you're going to have two in that range. So I got the Carbon Zion which is a carbon riser bow, 3.2 pound bow, bear. So this bow, this bow, these are going to be your 850 package. This is going to be your $730 package, amplified. So you got a bigger base, adjustable cams, binary pre-stretch string. That's going to be your lowest dollar one, but also pre-stretch string, binary cams, lifetime warranty on all of them. So what me and James were talking about was, hey man, not everybody's got two grand to pump out on a bow. You know what I mean? I mean, they just face it, the economy is what it is. So I really think that there's a lot of bows out there for new shooters. They're like, dude, I just want to get into archery. This is gonna outshoot you for years and years and years to come. And I tell guys all the time, man, you can upgrade your components on here, right? Mm -hmm. And once you decide, you know what, I've saved some money, I don't wanna get a high-end bow, everything strips off this, because you're a high-end bow. But this will get you in the door, it'll outshoot you, it'll kill whatever you want in North America, and you can go have fun with a bow and arrow, man. I mean, that's what it's all about. Absolutely, and to chime in off that, the cool part about these bows, too, is they come with everything. So they have an arrow rest, they have a sight, they have a quiver. All you're going to need to get is just buy the bow. It's a package, and then get some arrows, and you're good to go. And like Bruce said, I mean, even guys like him and I, who are pretty competent shooters, we can't outshoot these bows. Like, if we were to put them in a machine, they would shoot better than us, for sure. So... We're, there's certain things that'll be better with the more expensive ones, but we're going to shoot all these and we'll give you our thoughts and see how we like them. Alrighty guys, we got our first bow, so today we're going to shoot from the cheapest bow up to our most expensive bow. It's about $850. This one we're starting at $469 with the Edge 320. Tell us what we need to know about this. Cool little bow, man. Uh, back to that beginner, right? So not everybody's got that budget. We covered that earlier. So what I like about this bow, $469 package bow, but what's cool is you get the binary cam. You get a pre-stretched string so you don't need that peep tube here. Um, just a pretty legit bow. The other cool thing about this, beginners, right? They don't have that muscle strength for pulling a bow. So we call them bow muscles here because it works. But what's cool about this, I can take this from 18 pounds up to 70 pounds. And I can take this from, I believe it's 16 inches of draw length up to 31 inches of draw length. So the growth potential with this bow is massive. And that's pretty much your biggest hitter. I find it to be a great bow for what the price of it is. And once again, this will kill anything. I've got two guys on this board that have killed deer with this bow. So it's there, right? The growth potential, like, I mean, those specs are literally gonna fit any shooter, whether it's a kid, female, male, whatever. And then we'll Shoot. tell a lot of guys, you know, once you've graduated out of this, you can sell this to anybody in the world as long as they're right-handed because it'll adjust to anybody in the world. Let's give her a rip. 50, uh, 50, oh, every bow we're shooting is 55 pounds. Basically. 55, 29 inches of draw. Yeah. Shooting three arrows? Three I'm telling you what, like, uh, granted it's 55 pounds, so these all, all probably feel pretty good, but this thing feels very smooth. I wish this draw cycle could be on my bow. <laughs> it can't, we'll go down to 55 I'm pounds, buddy. <laughs> I love this draw cycle. <laughs> Let's shoot two because you got a lot of bows. Two. So as far as the feel, I really, really like the draw cycle on this, and it sounds like it's really thump thumping. So like Bruce said, yeah, I can totally take pounds. this on a javelina hunt or a deer hunt and get the job done. That's the first one, 470 bucks. Let's get into the next one. Yes, Amplify. Bowtech product, wider platform, split limbs. Once again, the growth potential with this, you're back to that bow that I can adjust levels low, levels high in a massive, massive way. Same idea on the cam. I can take this wherever I want, all the way up to, I believe, 30 and a half on, on this bow. Um, you're getting into the next level up off the 320. Close to the same package, but now you're getting a little bit more speed. Speed. If you like that bow, you're going to love this one because of the draw cycle, pre-stretched string. But once again, on these two bows, they're kind of hitting that archer that's coming up that doesn't have the bow strength. Hey, man, you're going to build that bow strength up. And we sell the heck out of this just because of your platform. Wide limb, adjustability, tunability. A lot going right here. Yeah. What's the price point on this? Today? 730. 730. So this one's gonna run you 300 more dollars. But like he said, just platform wise, this is already starting to look a lot more like a bow like my SR350. So, you know, obviously the technology's kind of the next level. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop my bow to 55 and we'll leave. <laughs> 
Another cool thing about this one is you have a limb stop. So guys that are shooting a back, ten, you know, back tension style, yep. this stops on the limb, so it's going to have no peak when you're pulling. Again, like Bruce said, <laughs> it, that first one set a really high expectation with the draw cycle, but this one is definitely better. It feels like 10 pounds less, and that one already felt like nothing. So pretty pleased on that. I would actually be interested to try one at 70. Pretty sweet little boat for the money, right? <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, I mean, between these two, you can definitely, to me, you can feel the $300 difference. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that that yeah. one's bad, and it, like, yeah, I actually liked it a lot, but this one you can just feel that it's kind of that next level up. So, we got two more to get to. And the, and the biggest thing on the next two is going to be on the, the Carbon Zion, which is going to be your 850, right? So, now we're going from that mid fours to mid sevens to 850 to mid eights. You're only getting a 10, the PSC you're going to get a 15, 10 to 15 pound range. Once again, these bows are geared for the guy that says, I'm going to start way down here, but I'm going to end up way up here. A lot more potential for growth in this, like not only from a draw draw length standpoint, but also a weight standpoint. So as you get in the more high end bows, those windows are going to get smaller. But at that point, you've shot more and you know what you want to shoot exactly. So they'll be more tuned in. So let's get into these next two. We got our next bow. We got the Carbon Zion from Bowtech. This one is a little bit more money. It's about eight fifty. So another hundred dollars over that last one we just shot, the Amplify. Ernest, why don't you go ahead and tell me about the Zion a little bit? So the Bowtech Carbon Zion, awesome mid-level bow. Um, we get a lot of guys that come through the shop that come out with this bow. Nice and light. Got that uh, carbon composite riser people that are struggling with some uh, shoulder injuries, good bow to get into. It's going to keep it light, not put a little, not put that extra stress on that front shoulder. Uh, also, we got the adjustability. I mean, on this, you're going to get about a 10 pound uh, draw range. As far as if you're going 70, you can drop down to about, uh, about 58 pounds. It looks like you can go from about 25 and a half inches of draw up to 30 and a half. So yeah. pretty good on draw length there. Yep, axle to axle, you got 31. 31, which I tend to like a lot. A lot of these cheaper bows, not the ones we shot today because they're not super, super cheap, but I've noticed that a lot of the cheaper bows tend to be really short axle to axle. So on this one, you're not getting that. 31's a nice length. Uh, and like he said, it's super, super light, which a lot of people, when they think of like archery and shoulder injuries, they're thinking of their back shoulder, the one that pulls. Whereas like a lot of guys actually struggle more with that front shoulder and they're either guarding it or whatever. A light bow like this is perfect for people like that who struggle with that front arm. Cantilevered so, weight, yep. 100%. Also with this, you're going to go back into that solid back wall, like your Diamond Edge 320. Awesome uh, beginner bow to start off, going to keep it that low price range. But with the with the back wall on that Diamond Edge 320, you got a little bit of give. Sometimes we're having to adjust uh, that draw length to account for that you know but with a solid back wall man it's it's nice yep we so got you really <laughs> fill that in between the bows yep we got a limb stop on this one and the last one and that definitely for me at least it's nice to have that concrete back wall and then be able to pull against it so that's what i'm expecting here i will say already this is easily my favorite grip of the three bows that uh, we've shot so far well, already know free. that you get one free from them, you? that's why all of these bows have phenomenal draw cycles. I will say that from the edge to the amplified to this, every single one has blown me away on draw. Um, and even at 55 pounds, I'm able to feel I've shot bows enough to know if the draw cycle is good or not, regardless of the poundage. All three of these have nice draw cycles. And we see a lot of guys coming through the shop, and they're starting with this bow. And man, they start upgrading components and they just stay with it. It's that good of a bow. You know, like they were saying in the beginning, none of us can outshoot these bows. No. I mean, you can stay with this for a long time. Oh, yeah. Sweet. So we got one more. All right, now we're coming into that PSC Drive NXT. We got 33 inch axle to axle. So we got two more inches as um, compared to your carbon Zion. So when we get guys in the shop got that longer draw and they're looking for that mid-range bow, we're getting them into this. Um, with that longer axle to axle, longer draw, then you're gonna get a better uh, string angle, right? You get a little bit 
shorter axle to axle on a longer draw, you're going to have to start dipping that head. We want to stand up as tall as possible. Not to mention with the longer axle to axle, this bow is going to be really steady for those longer shots. And we, this bow has the split limbs with the wider pockets. Um, so in theory, it should be a little bit more torsionally stable compared to the Zion. And the price point is uh, the same on this, essentially. And one thing I will say, too, I like about this bow, I don't know if it comes with this sight or this rest, but if it does, this is a, definitely a step up on the sight compared to all the other ones, and the rest is a step up. Uh, quiver's about the same, but that's something to keep in mind. This is a five-pin sight and a drop-away rest. So on this one, the PSE Drive NX is coming with your Pro Package. Like James hit, you're going to get a little bit better components on this. It comes with a drop away rest as, composed, as compared to your Whisper Biscuit. A pretty decent sight, you're going to get that 5 pin sight. Um, yeah. yeah, it's a nice package. And it's only about 50 bucks more than the other one, so to me that would probably be worth it. But uh, let's give it a roll. I also will say this bow is significantly heavier than any of the other three which some people would like that. Me personally, I do like a heavier bow, but if you're someone with those shoulder issues, you're not gonna want a bow like this. You would be better off going with the Zion, <laughs> and they're both in the same uh, price point. So let's give it a rip. I'm telling you, like you seriously, I was expecting to be like not be super blown away by any of these, and I've all of them have been far better than I really expected. Um, I can't say I don't like any of them. What are you feeling the difference between your limb stop and then your uh, cable stop? Are you feeling that back? Hold yeah, so obviously, you know, the ones with the stop are going to be a little stiffer in the back. For me, I'm really focused on when I shoot a bow, I'm really com always focused on draw cycle. Can I shoot that bow? a million times and not blow my shoulders out and be able to repeat my shooting very well. So uh, I'm looking for consistency and then overall pin hold. Um, Ernest, we're turning James' bow down today to 55 pounds. I can, <laughs> I can hear it. And I gotta say, if I had to rank, pick one of these bows that I would personally shoot, I'd shoot all of them, but my first choice would for sure be this uh, PSE Drive NXT. It is towards the top end of that price range of these three bows, $850. But for me, this bow held the best, probably because it's longer, and the draw cycle on all these was phenomenal, but this one was just as good, if not better, than the other ones. So for me, this would be the one I would personally take home, but you got to come in, you got to shoot them all, and uh, find out which you want to go. And then if uh, none of these do the trick, you shoot the flagships, but that's going to bump you up to, you know, $1,100 and upwards. So it's something to, it's good to know that there's other options and you don't have to break the bank. So thank you guys so much for watching another video here at the bow shop. Thanks for these guys for setting it all up and uh, it was perfect. A lot of fun and I hope this video was valuable. If you come in, tell me watch the videos and they'll get you dialed in. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, pippity-dippity!